Hello everybody, I'm here to tell you about Urban Wolf Club's Colt 45 boots, uh, Heritage boot line. I've got them, recently purchased them, and quite happy with them, so I'll get right into it. I've got another video uh, explaining a little more about the company, not going into super great detail, but uh, showing some of the process of how the boots are made and so on and so forth, but I'll go from there. Okay, as far as these boots, getting right into it, uh, just so you know, the laces, I replaced them. These are not the laces that come with them. I made these out of paracord, as I do. I like some funky laces. These are, uh, well, like I said, just made out of paracord, but they came with uh, black and gray uh, leather laces that were long enough, which was very helpful. Normally when you buy leather laces uh, with boots, sometimes they're a little short on, and I don't know, I find that annoying to tie. So these being of a good length when they gave you leather laces was a nice bonus. I will use them at some point, I just wanted to switch up the look for now. Okay, as far as uh, coloration, they are black and gray as you can see, and the when I ordered them they have a taller pair of Axeman boots that are on this color on their website and I asked if they would make the Colt 45s in that and they obliged me and did so. And they come and they're this color and this color when they come. It's sort of a pull up leather, um, a good thick quality leather. You can really tell that it's good quality and thick underhand. Uh, supple, thick but not stiff uh, so that it you know feels good to wear and break in which is also nice but uh, I added some wax to the cap toes and the heel caps here just to add a little extra shine you can you know see that it changes the color a little here uh, makes it more of a richer black um, that's just something I did for personal preference I have a different pair where I haven't done that I've just left them natural so uh, something to keep in mind um, as I mentioned, this is sort of a pull-up leather, meaning that, you know, when you bend it, it gets a little uh, lighter and then, you know, kind of comes back. That's the gray. The black is just your, you know, standard good black veg tan leather. They are veg tan leather, which, you know, is a quality leather. That's something you want to look for as far as quality. Um, I found the eyelets to be, you know, in good shape. Um, I know some people have mentioned... Uh, different boot brands and stuff sometimes that's a problem uh, these are all great I've had good boot brands and you know lower boot brands uh, with the eyelets some being sharp some being not so just something to keep in mind I usually if you just hit it with an anvil or something or a hammer on an anvil of some sort of like a bench vise or just some hard surface that solves that problem but these are fine I have uh, my thoughts on the uh, insoles here or the insides are a glove leather um, or glove type leather at least it seems like it's a you know a thin coated leather or not coat of, not coated leather but a thin leather coating of leather uh, sewn in as you can see uh, so they aren't lined with like a insulation or anything but they're lined with that type of leather for comfort there's a veg tan heel counter uh, back in there as you can see sewn in well uh, on the inside. There's a piece of leather here underneath that. Uh, there's a little strip of, or not a little strip, but a, a layer of foam. And underneath that you have veg tan insoles. Then you get into the construction of the boot and there's its leather midsole, uh, veg tan leather midsole. There is natural all natural cork uh, they don't use the ones with rubber filler they use an all natural cork they have thick steel shanks and then something i haven't seen before a small leather pad at the back of their steel shank um, it, the shank goes in and it goes towards back here and then they have a, a disc of leather that they put on the back of that steel shank and kind of hammer it in uh, in the video in the other video that i have on urban wolf club you can see the process happening and uh, that steel shank and that small piece of leather being added so that's something to keep in mind um, these are size 13 i'm a 29.5 centimeters measured but i like to wear thick socks if you look up their size chart it says that that's uh, their size 13 is for 12 inches which equates to over 30 centimeters i again like to wear thick wool socks um, i feel like their size chart might be a little off 
um, but it's probably right on. I've heard some people mention in comments of Mexican bootmakers that they tend to like uh, shoes a little shorter, so I don't, I, or at least um, the toe area being a little more narrow sometimes. I don't know if that's true. It doesn't seem that way for these, um, particularly because these are sort of an E width uh, as far as the width on the shoes, which is the standard that they sell. But they'll work with you if you need something specific, so keep that in mind. Just reach out to them and feel free. But uh, that being said about sizing, they say they recommend ordering a half size down from your regular shoe size. I don't know if they're the boot you necessarily want to do that with. I think they're the ones that maybe you just want to go a little thicker socks. I could probably get away wearing a tw size 12 in these. For example, I have a size 12 in Parkhurst and most of my Thursdays are size 12, but I I feel that the 13 is a little better. It is a little big. It is what I wanted. Again, I wear thicker socks. I live in a northeastern climate. I, I like to wear thicker wool socks. There's lots of uh, reason for that with the cold and such in this area. So something to keep in mind. I want it a little looser. It's what I wanted, but they're not sloppy loose at 13. So um, so they are, you know, right where I want them to be. But they're just not the type of boot that you, you know, want to go that full size down or if you're ever tempted to go a full size down you just want to stick around that half size down or right on the size just so you know uh, use their size chart keep that in mind but um, just something to be aware of when you're trying to size them out they are coming from mexico they are handmade there uh, small factory or well small workshop of 15 people that's their whole company uh, friends family type business um, made you know in a Goodyear welted style uh, they use a special welting style as uh, seen in the other video as I mentioned it's a it's still a Goodyear welt but they it's the way they add an extra piece of leather to the insole to attach the welt to which you know makes it a little different than other boots but uh, I find it quite comfortable um, and it doesn't hurt durability or anything like that so it's a it's sort of their own system they've developed but it's excellent uh, boot comfort they are comfortable right out of the box uh, not much weight wearing needed I wore them for quite a while the other day um, about seven hours six seven hours and no pain or anything you know you didn't get that sense of man I need to get these boots off my feet the way that it happens with new boots uh, these soles are the soles that come on the boots if you order a size 13 um, so it's a sort of a shallow lug that happens for the size 13 they mentioned because it has to do with the size of the boot that that's the sole that they have that'll work with that uh, most of their soles are more like this other boot so if you order a different size you're probably going to get a sole like this um, either way they're quality good quality rubber they're made from the same factory it's a supplier close to them that uh, is renowned for making good quality soles for a long time and uh, they're they are good quality i've had soles like that before so keep that in mind that they are good soles and no matter what kind you get whether it be the shallow lug or the uh the standard type that they give you and you'll get good traction and things like that obviously you know ice is ice there's not a lot of traction on ice either way but everything else i've been fine on uh i was running around a park uh the other day after my toddler just uh very suddenly we had some time to kill in between trip and we hung out at a park for a while and i was running around after my toddler in wet grass no problem in these and didn't have any issues so something to keep in mind and since then all i did was take a quick brush to them so they're not you know, not dirty or anything but you know they obviously held up well to doing that um, there's some speed hooks on the top as you can see as I mentioned, it's a good quality thick leather, pull-up type leather sole. You have nail through construction underneath here. If you peel this up, if you peel the this Urban Wolf uh, insole there up, you'll see the foam and then under that you'll see the uh, veg insoles, veg tan insoles nailed down through the heel. So you have nailing on both sides. So that's good quality. Stitching is of good quality. Everything's great. And they're currently at $150. You can't find quality like this at $150. Um, and I've seen someone mention in reviews of them before, 
They're quality for the price point, yes, but these are quality at any price point. These boots, I would not feel weird if, you know, I found out, hey, I'm trying to try a more expensive pair of boots, and I found out they were a little more expensive. Once I got them, I would still be happy. They are excellent quality. I absolutely think you should try them out. They're, um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way or anything like that, but for the price of a Thursday pair of seconds, you can get an excellent quality pair of boots or less than a Thursday pair of seconds. Custom made, again, got this color custom made, made to order for you, shipped to your door. They uh, come FedEx. I It took eh, about a month. There were some custom delays. Um, it took about a week in customs to clear customs. Didn't get caught in customs or flagged or anything. It just took time, as international shipments sometimes do. But, you know, you're, you're talking about quality. I mean, you can see it. You can see the stacked leather all the way through. You can see the stitching. The welts. Um, in my other video, I was trying to find where a welt meet, where the welt joint was on the pair of boots. And, well, this one I'm having trouble as well. Uh, this one, here we go. We can see it right here on this one. It's, let's see if we can zero in. So you can see that little line right there. That's the welt joint on this pair of boots. Again, I'm having trouble finding them on the video as we talk, which shows you the quality. Uh, it's a sign of good craftsmanship and uh, a tight welt. So that's, you know, showing that they, they take some care when they're building their boots. Um, got a, you know, simple back. Nothing too flashy. This is sort of the style, a little more like Thursday Captain's, kind of pointier, a little cap toe, but they're a little wider. They, they're a little wider in the toe box, which I like, um, especially again wearing thicker socks and things like that. But the, for example, in comparison, this is their Axeman boot. Uh, a little more rounded toe, as you can see. So, you know, direct comparison there. So, got those as well, also in the gray color, because I really liked that color combination, and I don't have things like that, so I thought that was the way to go. Again, quality company, urbanwolfclub.com, order from them. Don't be afraid, like, shop their website, but don't be afraid to ask for custom colors, or ask for what you want, or, you know, let your imagination run a little, because they'll work with you. They don't have any problem with that. Um, the boots have a uh, lace stay on the tongue, which I found interesting. Not a lot of heritage boots or, you know, boots that I've seen in this, I don't know, heritage boot space, as people like to call it, I suppose. I don't know. Can't really say that I'm, you know, I, I definitely am in the hobby because I am talking to you about them and I've gotten quite a few, but uh, I, I don't know what I would call that as far as being in the hobby. But, um, you don't see the lace stay very often, but people do complain about, you know, boot tongues sliding from side to side, and that is a nice feature. I like that. I like that they add it on. If you don't like it, I'm sure you could talk to them and have them leave it off, because it's just an extra piece of leather just sort of stitched into the tongue there. But I really like it. I find it super comfortable. It's not something you really see, so it doesn't take away from anything, especially if you're wearing pants. They usually, you know, come down to around here anyway. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, that you may or may not want. Also, on the site, you'll see they have logos on the sides. You can ask them to leave that off. Um, I talked with the owner, and of the three pairs of boots that I got, I got one with the logo, and this these do not have them, and my wife's pair do not have them. I just talked it through. They wanted me to be happy either way. If I wanted it or not, it's up to you. It, they look fine. It's not a problem. I've had logos on boots before, so I got one of each. I got one with and one without. Really, you know, doesn't make too much of a difference to me, but I figured, well, why not? So, something to keep in mind whether or not you want it. I know a lot of people will say, eh, I don't want it, but at the same time, I kind of like looking at it. It's something a little different. It's, you know, your boots. It's not like you're, you know, doing something with them. They're, they're yours, and you bought them, but, you know, then again, they are gun names for the most part. Um, not the Axeman, but the uh, Winchester Colt, uh, Colt 45. So keep that in mind, something you may or may not want. Um, the Colt, regular Colt, is a non-cap toe. This is a true cap toe on the Colt 45. 
again, another sign of quality, an actual cap toe on a boot. Not something you always get. Uh, so I, I find that impressive. Uh, so again, order from them. I mean, $150, ship your door some great boots. Get a color you don't necessarily, you know, know if you like or, you know, something you want to, you know, have one that you want to really age in because these are quality boots that are going to feel good and they're definitely going to be something you're going to have for a long time. They, you know, some people say they, they're built like tanks, you know, I, I'd say more they're heavy in hand, but they, they don't feel terribly heavy on foot. They're not light by any means. I'm a bigger guy, I can handle a bigger shoe, but for example, Parkhurst um, feel heavy in hand just like these do, but they uh, feel heavy on foot. These are very well balanced. They don't feel heavy on foot, which um, I'm okay with heavier on foot. It doesn't bother me, but I I wouldn't say they're light, like I said, but they, they just feel very well balanced. They're quite comfortable. Um, so very good feature to have in a boot that you're going to wear for a long time. Um, let me just give you some quick views here. There you go. Uh, that's the Colt 45 from Urban Wolf Club. Again, give them Urban Wolf Club Company, I suppose, but uh, it's urbanwolfclub.com. Uh, go ahead and give them a, a try and you know see if they have something you like. Um, they don't have a ton of styles, but you know they, they definitely have quality. And like I said, don't be afraid to you know mix up some colors either, because well, why not? Variety is the spice of life. All right, um, take care, enjoy. And if, you, if this is helpful at all, of course, you know, like, subscribe, so on and so forth. And uh, ask any comments or questions you want. I don't mind answering them. I actually enjoy it. I'm a small channel, so I can do that. So um, it's not really a problem. All right. Thanks, and have a good day.